Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new type of video for you. It is going to be sort of a moving forward like a monthly Amazon favorites. Now the reason that I'm breaking up Amazon specifically is simply because honestly, I find so much good stuff on Amazon and I don't want my monthly favorites to be solely focused on one particular store or brand or item or anything like that because I do like to talk about books and stuff which I've got some Woo -hoo -hoo books to share with you guys in my upcoming favorites video. Anyways, we'll get there. So with that said, today I'm gonna share with you guys some of the best things that I have purchased on Amazon. I am gonna separate the clothes simply because I have a, a pretty decent haul. I have been kind of doing a little A-B testing, if you will, uh, because there are some free people dupe sweaters and stuff like that that I really wanted to try. So I ordered a number of things so that I could try it, review it, and share with you guys if I think these things are actually dupes for other more expensive products or if they're really just cheap knockoffs, you know? So that video is gonna be coming up, so stay tuned. I will just casually mention this top I'm wearing right now. I'll of course link this down below. Uh, I am definitely going to be ordering this in other colors. I'll show you guys kind of an up close of it so that you can see. One of the main things I like about this is that it's long enough in the back to cover your bootay, but it doesn't look like you're wearing sort of a weird length dress. Um, it comes up in the front. So I got a medium and this I can wear as a tunic. I think if I were to get a smaller and extra small, then I could wear it more like tucked into jeans, more of a closer, tighter fit type top. I will just tell you that this is one of the softest things I've ever owned. Um, I'm all about the comfy softness and this definitely fits the bill for comfy and soft. I love, there's lots of different color options. That's one of the things that I really like most about some of the clothes I found on Amazon is there are a lot of color options. Sometimes it can honestly be hard to choose, especially when you like neutrals because there's usually like five different shades of brown, tan, cream, but I really like this one. I will link it down below. Otherwise, keep your eyes peeled for the forthcoming Amazon fashion video, which will just cover clothing. Today's video is going to cover home items and some randoness, because some things I just don't really know what, what category they fit in. So like home and lifestyle, I would say, is what we're gonna talk about today. And I have some dang good stuff, okay? Let's just get into it. Let's not waste any more of each other's time. You're not wasting my time. I'm the one filming this. You know what I mean. Let's get into it. All right, first up is this adorable little tray. It does come with the little bead tassel -y things, which is kind of one of those like home decor items that I see people like style bookshelves and different things with. I never really know. That's kind of one of those things I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm just supposed to lay a bunch of beads out. I don't know. My kids would be like, great, thanks for the beaded rope. But I'm in the process of doing a little side porch, back porch makeover. We have a porch off of our bathroom. I got a clearance like, Papazon chair thing for out there. I've got curtains. The video is forthcoming. I'm making my own little private reading nook quiet area and this little tray is going to join me out there where I can lay out my bead balls and nobody will steal my balls. Not only is the tray really cute and very, very durable, my kids would actually have a hard time breaking this tray, but I thought it was a good price for both items. So a lovely little home decor piece. If you need something um, to set on top of a table, you could put a little candle in here, a little thing like my little match container thingy here, a little place to set your drink. Um, really cute. We are gonna talk some practical stuff though. Again, I would like to separate and really kind of focus specifically in one video on home organization stuff because I have found some of the best organization stuff on Amazon, but I did wanna share these little hooks with you, okay? They seem like, what is that? What's, what's so exciting about this hook? Well, this hook is meant for over a glass shower door. So we have glass showers, and part of the problem with our bathroom is also that we don't have towel bars. The way that our bathroom is set up, there is really no towel bar or anything near the shower to hang a towel on. <laughs> um, and so these are perfect because you can get them in multiple colors. I got this brass color. We have some like bath sheets, they call them. So like the big oversized towels. Uh, so you can hang just one of those across here or you know two separate towels or like your little hair dryer bobby thing. You know what I'm talking about? The little microfiber hair towel. It keeps things looking kind of tidy and neat. And uh, I honestly, it was kind of one of those products that I saw and I thought, do I really need that? And this to me is something that definitely has helped keep our bathroom more tidy because I was very keen on like draping towels over the side of the tub and stuff like that. And I, I don't want to do that. So this is great. 
I love it, highly recommend. This is very exciting to me and you might be wondering why I brought a light fixture in here with me and not on the wall yet. Now here's what makes this extra special. First of all, I love the way these things look at the top of bookshelves. So like these bookshelves up here, you can hang them on the top and then that way the light kind of shines down if you've got books or a decorated shelf that can look really nice or over pictures or like for us, I love putting it over the frame TV. It kind of adds to the ambiance of this being a photo and not a TV. But what I really like about this is I'm not an electrician. My husband's not an electrician. We don't really have easy access to an electrician. And so it makes installing anything, any kind of light fixtures that are hardwired nearly, I don't want to say impossible, but just we have two like this that are hardwired that are sitting in their boxes waiting for, for somebody to install them or us to find somebody to help us install them. When you have to cut into the wall and all of that, not so easy. And if you're renting or you know in an apartment or something, obviously you can't do that at all. So this is a great option because it charges. You plug it in. So it's not battery operated. You're not um, changing out batteries or anything. It actually charges. So you plug it in to charge it. Then it has different settings. So if you turn it on, and then you just hold it down, then the light will slowly begin to dim until it goes off. So you don't have to have it on full, full strength. Now I'm gonna power it back up. So you don't have to have it on full strength if you don't want to, that's, it's a lot. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks like I'm a lightning bug. Floating on the breeze, baby, get ready. I think this is awesome. And again, one of those kind of like genius home hack things that I feel like is just cool and worth it. And it looks nice, it doesn't look cheap or chintzy, great. We are quickly approaching fall. I live in the south, so fall takes its sweet dilly dang time coming on through, okay? We stay warm here, but make no mistake, I still am gonna decorate for fall and pretend like it's fall, and I will be wearing sweatery things even if it's 89 degrees, okay? Just gonna do it anyways. And in my fall porch decorating, I love the changing of the guard of rugs, including the kind of layered rug look. I think that looks really cool, really nice, kind of just steps things up a bit. And so I found this checkered print rug. Again, the quality, guys. I think for a long time, I didn't order clothes and certain home decor item things from Amazon because years ago when it kind of first came about, at least in my world, I felt like I would order things and they would get here and I'd be like, mm, this is kind of chintzy, feels cheap, doesn't look anything like the photo, is a different color, very different quality than what the photo looks like. And I have just found that not only is that really not true most of the time on Amazon now, but reviews are a great way to check out something and see if it's actually worth it. You can really find out if this thing is gonna be worth your money. Not to mention, it is easy to return if it's not. But all of that to say, I love this rug. And like I said, I love the layered look. So I got this kind of a uh, taupey brown check print rug. And then I got one that says, well, like the, the actual like wipe your feet off on it rug. I don't even have any idea. Now that I'm sitting here realizing I have no idea what that material would be called, but you know what I'm talking about, the kind you actually wipe your feet on. And it says, hey y'all. So there's also some other ones on Etsy that I really like that have some very funny like fall sayings on it and other just general funny sayings that I think I'm gonna dip my toes into. I love the hey y'all rug layered with this rug. So cute, so perfect for fall. Again, very excited to start kind of my Sorry, I smelled something burning and I was like, what is that? I have a candle lit, but it smelled like it was burning closer. Anyways, the point is I'm very excited for fall, get my fall porch going and decorating. And that rug gets me even more excited for that time to come. You'll probably also hear my children screaming in the background. Uh, we got a trampoline and my husband just put it up together and everything yesterday. And we, the kids have not gotten off of it, honestly. They've been on that trampoline forever. I did also get, which I'm, I didn't include in this video, but maybe I'll just link them down below anyways. But I got this really cool like hose thing that goes around the top of the trampoline. So it sprays water on the kids. I also got another one that comes up from underneath. Uh, it has like lights around the top so they can jump on the trampoline at night when it's you know getting darker and still be able to see. It does like disco stuff. So just some fun stuff to make the trampoline uh, experience more fun. I'll link that stuff because that stuff all did come from Amazon. So I'll link that. The trampoline didn't, but the accoutrement did. I will link it for you as well. Want to give a quick mention to a few different coat hangers. Now hear me out before you're like, good grief, the boring police are here and we don't want to hear about coat hangers. Just hear me out a little bit. I am doing a makeover on the little girl's room. Rosie got a new armoire 
and I really wanted to make it very special and pretty for her, a place to hang up her clothes and um, and just you know have it be something that she can keep very neat and tidy and I'm trying to encourage that because she tends to be a little messy with stuffing things in her drawers and things like that um, because you know folding things and getting them in there can be tough for kids but hanging up is a lot easier. So I'm trying to kind of shift my focus to hanging as much of my kids clothes as I can and as is reasonable. And so with that comes the need for coat hangers. And I thought it would be really nice if she had some lovely little matching coat hangers in her armoire. Uh, so they have, again, a number of different color options. This is the white and it's wood. It's not plastic, this part is wood. And then, whoops, and then I got the um, ivory white velvet hangers. Now, velvet hangers may seem like kind of a bougie thing, but I think for kids' clothes, they are honestly the most practical hangers. The velvet ones, I feel like the, given the grippiness, they really do help the clothes to stay on the hangers more so than the round, slick plastic. So I got these for Rosie for her closet. And then the other thing I got for the little girls, they have a bunch of dress-up dresses, Halloween costumes, things like that, that they love to keep around and, and dress up and play with. But right now they have like a big basket that they just kind of stuff them all in. And I thought for their birthdays, one of their like group gifts, so this was for the twins and Rosie, I got them this really adorable clothing rack, but it's made of like steel pipes that were spray painted gold and it's got like little white shelves. I'll include some inserted footage here so you can see what it looks like. It is so adorable. I just wanted something that would look nice sitting in their room and be somewhat affordable when I looked up dress up armoires, like the small kid size dress up armoires. I felt like those were kind of pricey for what they were, press wood furniture. I just, I didn't feel like number one, that it would look all that nice and number two, that it would likely hold up. And I felt like, well, if my kids can break steel bars, then we have other problems. So that one should likely hold up. And with that said, I wanted, whoa, cute hangers to go on it, right? You don't want to get this cute thing and set it up with the dress up dresses and then just use some cheapy plastic hangers that don't look as cute, right? You're going to do the thing, do the thing. And I found these adorable, uh, again, gold kind of metal kids hangers and then the pants ones. And I got the pants ones because especially like, for example, my daughter has a frog costume, okay? So I would probably put the leotard and everything on here and then the uh, the skirt that goes with it and all of that could hang on here. They could hang together, something of that nature. But I figured always easier to have these grippy things, especially when you're dealing with, I don't know, weird costumes, which are not going to be like regular clothing. So I thought these were super adorable. I'll link these and the um, dress up rack down below for you. Guys, it wasn't supposed to rain today and it is, it's like a storm is rolling in. It is dark and gray. That's why we have this annoying artificial lighting going on, which I really don't like. I don't like filming with artificial lighting. I don't like the way it looks. Um, it's not my favorite. I don't have like a good setup for it. So I kind of just have to make do. I don't have like a studio setup. So, it, but it drives me crazy. I prefer natural. Y'all know my policy on like white towels, white sheets, and being able to bleach things, clean things, all of that. Well, I kind of broke my own rule, okay? I came across these towels on Amazon and they are microfiber towels. I got them initially because I thought, I know, I'll keep these in our cabinet downstairs so that when the kids go outside and play in the sprinklers, in the bounce house uh, spray thing, water slide and all of that, our towels are stored upstairs. A lot of times the kids do not think that through. They go put on their swimsuits and run outside and don't think to bring towels out. And this little cabinet stays right by the front door. And I thought, perfect, I'll stack some of these little towels in there uh, so that the kids can quickly grab towels when they come in from playing outside and getting wet. Well, upon purchasing them, first of all, they are, uh, because they're microfiber, they're thin. They're not like a super thick towel. So they fold really nicely and they stack really nicely. They're a good heavy material. They come in a number of colors. If you're one of those lucky ducks that has a pool at home, these would be perfect for like your little pool towel section. Um, they are plenty big for an adult or a child. And the other thing, the reason that I kind of was like, I think I'm gonna buy some more of these and put them in the, the thing upstairs for towels is because again, like I said, they stack easier, uh, they fold easier. But also I feel like 
They absorb the water, obviously being microfiber. I don't know, they just feel like the perfect towel for kids. I know like for adults, we always like our plushy, soft, blankety towels, but kids don't usually stay in a towel for very long. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they get out, they dry off, that towel goes on the ground and boom, they're gone, naked through the house, running, screaming like banshees until you get them lotioned and dressed and into bed. So. I mean, at least most of the adults I know don't do that, right? We put our towels on, we stay in it for a little while while we do our skincare or whatever else. And I just felt like these are perfect for kids. It just lets them dry off and then it's gonna dry out really fast. It's not gonna stay wet for long, uh, moldy. I feel like I'm probably giving more explanation than I need to on these towels, but I really like them. And sometimes I feel like I need to plead my case, especially when I'm going against my own previous advice of only owning white towels. These are close enough, they have white in them. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's talk about some paint furniture things. I've been doing lots of home renovations is not the word because it's, it's not that serious, but lots of changes around the house, trying to refinish some furniture, a little bit of DIY kind of things here. And I came across this paint, it's called Country Chic Paint. It's an all-in-one decor paint. I wasn't super thrilled with the, I got that Annie Sloan chalk paint. Uh, I say this like you guys know this, or if you've been around for a while, you know this. I got the Annie Sloan chalk paint, painted two big pieces of furniture in my house, this very beautiful kind of green color. Loved it so much, I put the, the wax top coat on it. I followed the instructions, as Shelby would say when she was like six, I followed the instructions. And it's gotten a fair number of scratches and kind of looks pretty beat up. And I was just a little bit disappointed. I, I mean, I've been going back and forth. I mean, I kind of just have to go buy that same Annie Sloan paint to do the touch-ups, unless I want to completely change the color of that furniture. That's neither here nor there. I thought I would try something different. So this is an all-in-one decor paint, and I thought I would give it a try, and I gotta tell you, obviously I can't speak to the longevity of the finish. It goes on very easy. Now, the paintbrush did not come until after my bad timing in the way that I ordered things, but I did order a special special paintbrush that's meant for uh, this kind of paint. At least it was listed as though it was. I think it's, yeah, it's from the same store. It's the Country Chic brush. And this is what they recommend that you use with this paint. I, however, used a regular paintbrush and then a roller, and then I put a poly, a matte poly finish on top of that. That might be what I do to the Annie Sloan ones is touch them up with the green paint and then go over the whole thing with a matte poly instead of the wax finish chalk paint. I just wasn't super thrilled. Maybe I don't understand chalk paint, but I really, really like this. I still have some left in here and I managed to paint. Hopefully you guys can see the color. I'll try to get a close up. I'll actually just show you the piece of furniture. I got a three drawer nightstand to go in between Ivy and Amelia's beds in their room as I'm piecing it together and getting it done, their little makeover. I really liked this very soft muted pink. Yeah, it was an unfinished piece of furniture, so I painted it with this, put the poly mat on top, and I was really, really happy with it. So there's a lot of colors of this, and I just felt like, oh, this is a very nice paint for furniture if you are painting furniture. I think that's technically what it's for. It's an all-in-one decor paint. A little went a long way. Anyways, very pleased with it, very happy with this. If you're looking to paint and do some furniture projects, definitely check this brand out. All right, so that is it for the things I'm loving from Amazon this month in the sort of home and lifestyle categories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, there will be a forthcoming sort of clothing fashion video. I'm excited to share with you guys some of those sort of fall clothing pieces, maybe where you live, the weather is actually getting to the point where you can wear stuff like that. We're not quite there yet, but I like to be prepared. That's what I tell myself. Anyways, that's it for me today, y'all. I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.